Ron Paul knows that our national defense is the most important function of our federal government and voted for the use of force in Afghanistan after 9-11 and supported going after Osama bin Laden. Like Thomas Jefferson and Dwight Eisenhower, his non-interventionist foreign policy is often misunderstood. But I don't find anything confusing about bringing our troops home to guard our border instead of worrying about the one between Afghanistan and Pakistan. <laughs> American bridges are crumbling, and yet the only new ones we're building are in Iraq. We need to get our priorities straight. Ron Paul has this right. America has to come first. Our active duty troops understand his message. They have contributed more to Ron Paul's campaign than all the other Republican candidates combined. Eighty-seven percent of the money in this force have gone to Ron Paul. They want Ron Paul to be their next commander-in-chief, and it certainly earns some say in this decision. We're $16 trillion in debt. That is our true national security threat. And Ron Paul is the only one talking about making any real cuts, most of it from wasteful overseas spending. Not Social Security, national defense, or veterans' benefits. He predicted this economic mess, and he knows how to fix it. To win in November, we need a candidate that can attract independent voters without sacrificing principles, pandering, or flip-flopping. Have you seen the young people coming out for Ron Paul? It's an amazing opportunity, and we simply must be embracing these potential new Republicans. Ron Paul's conservative message of limited government, freedom, and personal responsibility is resonating with this Internet Age electorate. It's like a dream come true. Polls show Ron Paul is the one de de a Republican defeating Barack Obama, and we can have that victory if we all pull together. Your vote is your voice, and, and, and we're all going to fight to make sure you know, every one of them gets counted here today but the responsibility of casting it lies with you. It's personal, and it's your decision. All I'm asking you is to vote with your heart. Vote on principle. Now's the time to make your stand. Thank you.